coding with Anand. Uh, today I am showing you my new project that is based on loan management system. This is uh, right now this is only single login uh, based uh, system and uh, we will basically provide the admin level user in this uh, system. So this project we have done on loan. Ke hai, so loan is basically passed. We basically apply for the loan how they are managed by the loan organization the financial organization uh, that is basically implemented in this uh, project so let's see so this is uh, how we basically log in and uh, the dashboard will come uh, there are borrowers and then active loans and uh, we can create any number of types let's suppose i want to create education loan uh, then i can create loan for education so this is just creating the types of loan that are basically available once uh, we define and uh, once the borrower would like to choose what type of loan he is basically going to apply and uh, here is uh, some plans that is basically available that is for 6 months for 12 months so we can define any number of things so let's suppose I would like to define a loan of uh, uh, 12, 6, 18 months and uh, rate will be let's suppose 20 uh, let's suppose 10 percent rate and uh, 20 percent penalty rate okay so i have defined a new plan so once uh, we basically choose for this plan let's suppose i am going to take an education loan for uh, one and a half year then i can get defined here okay so this is uh, applicable for all types of loans let's create a borrower create add uh, let's suppose uh, I define Ravi Kumar and uh, Ravi at the rate gmail.com and uh, let's suppose 0505195 and uh, the phone number, the address, the pen number A1234X. Let's save it so borrower has been added you can add any number of borrower as we need so this is the simple steps and uh, now let's create an application once we register the borrower all the steps are going top to bottom you can see once i complete it so there are different number of status uh, i will explain uh, as per the flow is going on so let's select the borrower these are the borrower the name and the pan number is basically displayed here in order to identify which borrower we are talking about so let's talk about ravi kumar and he is taking education loan and he wants 18 months plan and the amount will be let's suppose 2 lakh 40 thousand okay so the purpose is education for high uh, higher studies let's save it so we have added this one here is our uh, loan application details the loan is right now unapproved that means we can do nothing okay so uh, this loan is basically applied and uh, the top management will decide whether this loan to be approved or not so go to approval request because all the unapproved loans will be defined here we can either approve or reject the loan so let's suppose we want to approve the loan we can approve so once we approve the loan the loan goes towards the approved applications okay so we can see the status is going on here as well so the loan is now approved and uh, the approve application is there so this is what this is the release loan app, uh, button here so basically once the uh, uh, loan is approved then the amount is delivered to the uh, candidate who is uh, the borrower who is basically applied for that particular loan let's click on the release loan button so if we click on ok that means the amount will be delivered now for the borrower so now there is nothing in this approved loan section now now this loan application becomes a loan so we can uh, once we approved the loan once we release the loan we basically pass a letter that is printable in any format 
and uh, you can see the Ravi Kumar we are informed that uh, we have approved your loan of 2,40,000 your uh, EMI will be 18, 18 months 13333 amount is there 10% so this is uh, what is being written in this document the date of uh, approval so this is the letter that can be given to that particular person okay so we can see the details of uh, any loan if I want to see so the next thing is uh, if uh, the loan uh, we can see we can see as well that uh, the EMI date is also displayed uh, in the loan section look the next date is this one so today is 8 one and the 9 one is the date the next date this is the amount this is the penalty rate this is the with penalty that means if you do not pay this amount on this day you will have to pay 267 rupees extra for the late amount so this is what we basically do so the next step is payment section so we need the number that is auto generated here let's copy it and uh, paste it here okay so this is uh, uh, what we basically say that uh, the amount uh, is basically needs to be paid once uh, the day uh, come and uh, we can pay the amount before or uh, after the due date if we pay before the due date we can uh, um, take it as zero and if we pay after the due date then it will be displayed as this one just like this is showing let's save payment and uh, if i go to now this one let's view the details you can see the amount is basically displayed here this is not the penalty amount this is the paid amount okay my mistake my mistake my mistake this is emi amount and this is penalty amount okay that's my mistake and let's put some Indian currency symbol notation let's copy it and paste it and let's see fine so uh, this is now uh, what we say and uh, we, when we go towards payment sorry we have done go reports when we go to reports we can see that uh, we are able to see how many payments uh, has been made in this loan management system today so this is the report section we can define the filter as well if we required that the particular uh, uh, report i need from one day to another day that is not a very big issue so we can add it so this is my project uh, on loan management system if you like that project uh, please let me uh, know and uh, if you uh, think uh, there's some uh, uh, other options can be added in this uh, project you can let me know and if you are new to this channel please subscribe and uh, if you like this project if you need the code of this project please connect to me i will share my email id and my contact number uh, in the description and uh, thank you very much i will connect again with the new project thanks for coding with anand thank you